I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to add transitions between slides. Adding transitions between slides in Canva makes my presentation smoother and more engaging. So this is like having a really cool effect, a cool effect. Uh, so you know when I'm when I'm switching between slides instead of just uh, instead of them just uh, jumping out of nowhere, you know. So this keeps my audience interested in following along. So making my whole presentation feel more professional. So let's jump right into this video and show you exactly what you have to do to add transitions between slides. Make sure you watch till, till the very end, subscribe for more Canva tutorials. And now what we have to do is to click on here, grid view. And now from here we can right click and add page. So let's add page or you can also duplicate this page. So we have three page to work with right now. So let's uncheck this close grid view. And now we have this, uh, this text, but here we can, uh, we see this. If you hover your mouse over be the between of these two pages, right between, if you hover your mouse, if you move your mouse right between of these two pages, you see here, add page and add transition so we're going to click on add transition and now from here we can add transition between two of these pages right here so we have here dissolve we have slide we can change the duration of a slide we can also no change uh, this uh, change to a different one circle wipe but with this we can increase the duration we can change the direction as well in or out and we can also preview this we can click on present here if you want to see this full screen so So duration, color wipe, I like this one as well. And this one is very nice. So if I play this, yeah, this looks really nice. Let's try a different line wipe. or match and move or flow and slack stack sorry and but i like this one move will actually move as you can see the all the elements in a really nice way change the duration of course and the direction this is great as well and you can apply, you can add all this, uh, this, you can add this animation to all your pages with this button. Apply between all pages. Now we applied, we see the same animation, we see same transition here. For this one, we have another one. So now I'm going to add red sorry and i'm gonna add this one here let's say this one here replace current page and now we go back here and click on apply between all pages and let's see the result so first page second page and third page we can change this even more let's see for now from top and the last one here, we can add another page here. We can also enable this to see duration. And we see that this one I like to apply the same duration for each page. Same duration, five seconds. And now for the third one, I'm gonna add a different, um, different design here, different template. It's not really a template, just a different page. So we have something to work with. So now I'm going to apply this to all pages or can go back here again and add a slack one, stack one or a chop or move. But uh, I like this, uh, this one. 
and I see from the top and one it's coming from the left side so let's check the preview play with the arrows and the one the last uh, slide you can also check from here if you move the cursor if you want to crop one of these images you can right click and here you have a split page if you want to split this in two pages you can do that you can now control z to undo if you want to undo your decision your choice you can also lock page and expand to white board and if you click on this this is now a whiteboard as you can see to change again just undo control z now we have animation for each slide we can go to grid view we can highlight both right click and duplicate and we can go back close grid view if you want if you want to hide pages we can click on here hide page if you want to show pages we can click on show page if you want to add some notes you can press enter here notes some enter some notes here we can also show timer when you're presenting all your all your pages now a timer in canva presentations can help you to really stay on track it really helps you to avoid going over time and keeps your presentation focused and now maybe you don't have this timer here and you should have and the only time you don't have this timer here if you do not have a presentation maybe you have a canva so it's not a presentation overall if you can't see here if you don't see here present then you're not using a presentation you are not in a canva presentation page or in a page presentation that's why you don't see timer here so this is really important if you want to have a presentation where you are focused and you exactly how much time you have left so respecting really the time limit you'll see you know this is important because people they are busy they get busy and you know they see that you have this this shows respect and professionalism so will make your audience happy that you are not really rambling you're getting straight to the point you can also here select music and change the volume and add more minutes and click on play thanks for watching i hope you found this helpful if you have any more questions about canva leave your questions down below i hope you're gonna have a great i hope you're gonna have a fantastic day and take care